Welcome to Job Service North Dakota's short presentation on how to log in to UIICE. This presentation is intended to provide you with an overview of the UIICE login process, as well as the meaning of the different trouble messages you may receive and how to respond to them in order to complete your login. Remember, logging into the UIICE website is the second step of a two part secure login process. The first step is successfully logging in with your State of North Dakota login. If you're having difficulties with this step, view the How To video on our website labeled Creating a State of North Dakota Login. The next step of the secure login process is entering your social security number and date of birth. Once you have entered this information, you will be brought to the UI ICE main menu screen. If you are not brought to the main menu, here are some examples of the most common trouble messages you may receive during the login process and what you need to do to resolve the noted problems. Over time, you may have created multiple State of North Dakota logins, but only one can be linked to your social security number. So you might get a message telling you the State of North Dakota login you entered is already linked to a social security number. The error message provides you with the State of North Dakota login that's already linked to your social security number. The login used in this example, JSND, is only for demonstration purposes. You would use your own State of North Dakota login that is provided in the error message. The login already linked to the social security number is JSND. You will need to click Login to log back in using the JSND login. Once logged in with your State of North Dakota login and password, enter your social security number and date of birth. Then, you will be brought to the UIICE main menu screen. If you no longer remember the password for this account, click the Forgot Password link to have it reset. You will be asked to enter the State of North Dakota login ID you want to reset the password for. If you are not still using the email account that is in the reset account box, we will show you what to do in a moment. But if you are still using the email account that appears in the reset account box, click I'm not a robot and then click on the send codes button. It's important to make sure you can access the email account listed here because a recovery code will be sent to this address. Next, access the email box. Open the email from the ITD service desk to find the code needed to reset your password. Enter this code into the recovery code box and click confirm. You will be prompted to create a new password and retype it to confirm it. Then you will be taken to a confirmation reset success page. Here you can click the return to login button and log in with the state of North Dakota login and your new password. If you are having trouble locating the email from the ITD service desk, check the junk mail folder as it may be located there. If you are not using or don't have access to the email account any longer, click the cancel button. You will be taken back to the State of North Dakota login page. Click the service desk link found in this sentence. For assistance with this North Dakota login, contact the service desk. Fill out the form with the required information and click submit. This will open a ticket with the ITD service desk and a technician will contact you. Next, make sure you are typing your social security number and date of birth correctly. If not, you may receive a message indicating your mistake. Typically, these messages occur when you have mistyped your social security number, date of birth, or both. When entering your date of birth, make sure you're using the following format. Use leading zeros in the day and month portion. A forward slash is also required to separate the day, month, and year. You will find the forward slash key on the bottom right of your keyboard. For example, if your date of birth is March 1, 1950, the date should be entered as 03-01-1950. Here's a helpful hint to verify if the number you entered in the Social Security Number field is correct. If your browser contains a reveal button, Click the button and hold it down so you can see the numbers you typed. If you continue to receive error messages, even though you have verified that you have entered your information correctly, your initial UI ICE account may have been set up using incorrect information. To resolve this issue, you will need to contact the Claim Center. Please note that after three unsuccessful attempts, 
you will be locked out of your UIICE account and will receive this message. After clicking the link to unlock your UIICE account, an email will be sent to the email address linked to your State of North Dakota login. It's important to make sure you can access the email account listed here, as an email containing instructions and a link will be sent to this address. Next, access the email box. Now, open the email you just received from Job Service North Dakota and click the link to unlock and reset your UIICE account. After clicking the link, the system will automatically return you to the UIICE login page to enter your social security number and date of birth. After successfully entering your correct social security number and date of birth, you will be brought to the UIICE main menu screen. Failing the identity verification process may also prevent you from logging into your UIICE account. You may receive this message if you have failed identity verification and have been temporarily locked out of your UIICE account. You will need to wait the amount of time displayed on the screen before your account is unlocked and you are able to log back in. If you are receiving this message, you will need to follow the steps provided before your UIICE account will be unlocked. Your UIICE account will remain locked until your identity has been verified. In order to have your account unlocked and continue filing your claim, you must complete the following steps. Print the identity verification form from the jobsnd.com website. Select Unemployment for Individuals, then Forms. Here you will find the ID verification form. You may also click on the link to view and print the required form. A copy of this form was also sent to the mailing address you provided during the ID verification process. Bring the ID verification form and required documents to either your nearest Job Service North Dakota office or a local, state, federal, or county office to have your identity verified. Next, mail or fax the signed, dated, and stamped form to Job Service North Dakota using the address or fax number provided on the letter. Do not delay. It is important you return the completed form so you can continue filing your claim. We have now covered the most common problems claimants run into during the login process. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it was beneficial for you. For more information on various topics, please check Job Service North Dakota's YouTube channel or visit www.jobsnd.com.